Hello? Today, we embark on an explorative journey into the transformative realms of applied behavior analysis. Our focus will illuminate three pivotal concepts behavioral cusps, pivotal behaviors, and generative learning. These are not just terms, but keys to unlocking vast potentials in learning and development. Let's start with behavior cusps. A behavior that has sudden and dramatic consequences that extend well beyond the idiosyncratic change itself because it exposes the person to new environments, reinforcers, contingencies, responses, and stimulus controls. Access to new environments learning the behavior allows the individual to interact with new environments or contexts. Gateway to further learning cusps enable a range of other behaviors to be learned more easily. Example. Learning to talk is a behavioral cusp for a child. Once the child learns to speak, it opens up a whole new world of interaction, further learning and social engagement that wasn't possible before. It's like opening a door to a room full of new possibilities. Pivotal behavior is a behavior that, when learned, produces corresponding modifications or covariation in other untrained behaviors. Pivotal behaviors are core skills that, once acquired, result in wider-ending improvements across other areas of development. Improving a pivotal behavior leads to positive changes in multiple other behaviors without directly working on those behaviors. Example developing self-regulation, the ability to control one's actions and emotions is a pivotal behavior. A child who improves in self-regulation is likely to see improvements in academic performance, social interactions, and problem-solving skills because they can better manage their attention, emotions, and behaviors across various situations. Generative learning is a behavioral effect whereby previously acquired speaker and listener skills enable or accelerate the acquisition of other speaker and listener skills without dependence on direct teaching or history of reinforcement. Generative learning is about applying known principles or skills to generate new knowledge or behaviors. It involves using what you've learned in one context to solve problems or create something new in a different context. Emphasizes the learner's ability to extend beyond taught examples. Example, if a student learns the concept of multiplication, for example, talks 36, generative learning would be using that concept to understand that doubling a recipe which involves multiplication will produce twice as much food. The student is applying a mathematical principle to a real-world situation they haven't encountered in math class. Let's look behavioral cusps in clinical practice. 1. Learning to use sign language for a nonverbal child with autism. Learning sign language serves as a behavioral cusp. It opens up new avenues for communication that were previously inaccessible, facilitating further social and educational opportunities. 2. Mastering toilet training achieving independence in toileting can drastically change. A child's ability to participate in various social and educational settings, such as attending school or visiting friends, which were not feasible options before. 3. Acquiring a basic academic skill, for instance. Learning to count enables a child to engage with math-related activities and games, enhancing further cognitive development and school readiness. 4. Developing joint attention, learning to share attention on an object or event with another person can significantly impact a child's social interactions and learning opportunities, allowing them to gain more from their environment. 5. Initiating requests, manding, when a child learns to ask for what they need or want, it marks a critical shift in their ability to control their environment and meet their own needs more effectively. For pivotal behaviors, 1. Self-regulation Teaching a child's self-regulation techniques can lead to improvements in classroom behavior, academic performance, and social interactions because it affects how they manage distractions, frustration, and interactions with peers. 2. Social engagement Focusing on increasing a child's willingness and ability to engage with peers can lead to widespread improvements in language use play skills and cooperative behaviors without directly teaching each of these skills. 3. 
Response to multiple cues teaching a child to respond to multiple aspects of their environment, for example. Both verbal instructions and visual cues can improve learning across different settings and tasks. 4. Motivation, enhancing intrinsic motivation, can lead to broad improvements in learning. As the child is more inclined to engage with and learn from their activities and interactions. 5. Empathy and perspective taking developing. These skills can drastically improve a child's social interactions and relationships, which in turn can positively impact their emotional well being and cooperative learning. For generative learning, 1. Language generalization after learning specific vocabulary words. A child uses those words in new sentences or contexts they have never explicitly been taught, showing an understanding of language rules and structures beyond the initial teaching. 2. Problem solving skills A child learns a problem solving strategy in one context, example, figuring out how to get a toy to work and later applies that same strategy to fix a problem with a different toy. Demonstrating the ability to generalize a learned skill to new situations. 3. Social skills generalization. After being taught how to greet someone in a therapy session, a child initiates a greeting with a stranger at the park, applying learned social skills to new people and environments. 4. Reading comprehension. Once a child learns how to summarize a story, they begin to apply summarization skills to understand and explain new stories or even movies. They watch showing an expansion of comprehension skills. 5. Mathematical reasoning A child learns the concept of addition and subtraction through specific examples, and later uses these concepts to solve real-world problems, like dividing toys among friends, indicating a transfer of mathematical reasoning to everyday life. Key differences Behavioral cusps is unlock new learning potentials. Generative learning is ability to apply and innovate beyond direct instruction. Pivotal behaviors is foundation for broad developmental improvements. Let's practice with some mock exams. Mock exam 1. Jamie has recently learned to use a computer for online research. This new skill has drastically increased her ability to complete school assignments, participate in online forums, and discover new hobbies. Which one is correct? 1. Jamie's computer skills represent a pivotal behavior because it has improved her academic performance. 2. Learning to use the computer is a behavioral cuss. As it has opened up new opportunities for learning and engagement, she didn't have access to before. 3. This scenario illustrates generative learning because Jamie is applying her research skills across various subjects. 4. The ability to research online is a pivotal behavior because it directly influences her ability to learn new hobbies. Correct answer is 2. Learning to use the computer is a behavioral cuss. As it has opened up new opportunities for learning and engagement, she didn't have access to before. Let me explain. This answer is correct because a behavioral cusp is a behavior that opens new worlds, providing access to new reinforcers and learning opportunities. While Jamie's newfound skill does improve her academic performance, the key aspect here is the access to new environments and opportunities, making option 2 the best fit. Mock exam 2. After mastering the basic principles of grammar, Alex finds himself automatically correcting grammatical errors in his friend's messages and improving his writing without additional instruction. Which one is correct? 1. Alex's ability to correct grammatical errors is a pivotal behavior since it affects multiple aspects of his communication. 2. The scenario describes a behavioral cuss because mastering grammar has allowed Alex to engage in new forms of communication. 3. This scenario is an example of generative learning, where Alex applies learned principles of grammar in new, untaught contexts. 4. Alex's grammar skills represent generative learning because they have opened up new learning opportunities.
Correct answer is 3. This scenario is an example of generative learning, where Alex applies learned principles of grammar in new, untaught contexts. Alex's ability to apply his grammar skills broadly, beyond the contexts in which they were taught, exemplifies generative learning, making option 3 the correct choice. Mock exam 3. Once Sarah learned to ask for help when she didn't understand a lesson, she started performing better not only in her initially challenging subject, but in all her school subjects. Generative learning involves applying learned skills or knowledge to generate new behaviors or insights in different situations without direct teaching. Which one is correct? 1. Asking for help has become a behavioral cusp for Sarah as it has drastically changed her approach to learning. 2. This is an example of generative learning because Sarah is applying a single skill across various subjects. 3. Learning to ask for help is a pivotal behavior because it leads to improvements across multiple areas of Sarah's academic life. 4. Sarah's ability to seek assistance when needed represents a behavioral cusp, unlocking new educational opportunities. Correct answer is 3. Learning to ask for help is a pivotal behavior because it leads to improvements across multiple areas of Sarah's academic life. A pivotal behavior is one that, once acquired, results in improvements in other, untargeted areas. Sarah's new skill of asking for help, when needed has led to broad improvements in her academic performance. Fitting the definition of a pivotal behavior and making option 3 correct. Mock exam 4. After learning to tie his shoes, Ethan started to dress himself more independently, choosing his outfits and occasionally helping his younger sister with her shoes. 1. Learning to tie his shoes is a pivotal behavior because it improved Ethan's independence in dressing. 2. Ethan's shooting skill is a behavioral cusp because it has led to increased autonomy and the ability to assist others. 3. This scenario exemplifies generative learning as Ethan applies his skill in new contexts. 4. Shooting represents a pivotal behavior because it affects Ethan's and his sister's dressing routines. Correct answer is 2. Ethan's shooting skill is a behavioral cusp because it has led to increased autonomy and the ability to assist others. Let me explain. A behavioral cusp is a skill that provides access to new environments, reinforcers, and opportunities. Ethan's ability to tie his shoes, leading to greater independence, and helping his sister, opens new opportunities for interaction and self-care. Fitting the definition of a behavioral cuss. Mock exam 5. Marcus learned the concept of budgeting his allowance. Soon he started applying budgeting principles to manage his time for school projects and leisure activities. Which one is correct statement? 1. Marco's application of budgeting to time. Management is an example of generative learning as he's using learned skills in new areas. 2. The concept of budgeting acts as a pivotal behavior, enhancing Marcus's overall organizational skills. 3. Applying budgeting principles to time management represents a behavioral cusp by exposing Marcus to new methods of organization. 4. Budgeting is a pivotal behavior because it directly improves Marcus' ability to manage different aspects of his life. Correct answer is 1. Marcus' application of budgeting to time. Management is an example of generative learning as he's using learned skills in new areas. Let me explain. Generative learning occurs when an individual takes a concept learned in one context and applies it creatively in a different context. Marcus using budgeting principles for time management is a perfect example of generative learning as he extends the concept beyond its initial financial context. Mock XM6. Lily, who used to be quite reserved, took an improvisation class. After the course, she became more outgoing in social situations and her presentations at school improved significantly. Which one is correct statement? 
1. The improvisation class is a behavioral cusp for Lily, unlocking her potential for public speaking. 2. Becoming more outgoing is a pivotal behavior because it leads to significant improvements in both social interactions and academic presentations. 3. Lily's newfound outgoingness exemplifies generative learning by applying improvisation skills in social and academic settings. 4. The shift in Lily's social behavior acts as a CMOS, altering her response to social situations. Correct answer is 2. Becoming more outgoing is a pivotal behavior because it leads to significant improvements in both social interactions and academic presentations. Let me explain. A pivotal behavior is one that, once acquired, results in positive changes across multiple, unrelated areas. Lily becoming more outgoing after taking an improvisation class and seeing improvements in social and academic areas aligns with the definition of a pivotal behavior, making option two the correct choice. That's it today. Hope you understand better about behavioral cusps, pivotal behaviors, and generative learning. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe channel. Thank you for watching.